<laughs> Alright, bro. I'm gonna let you go. Alright. Yeah, yeah. Later, bro. What's up, Andrew? Well, you're just here just in time. Um... Where I am. <laughs> Sorry. I told you I went to that party. I didn't take it. Take this long. Okay. Well. But I'm here. Hey. Okay. Well, hurry up because we're actually live. Sounds good. It's loading up right now. All right. Well, while we're doing that. Um. Did I manage to pause this? I have no idea. Okay. And that stopped because, of course, it is. Okay. And then this. Uh... So wait. Are the starters for the Scorpions, is it Tate, uh, Fox, and Ike? Normally. Normally? Yep. Tate's not here. Are you joining in and I'll just click your stream? Uh, no. I'll send you an invite to actually watch the match. But... Oh, okay. Okay. We're kind of going to do this how I normally run it, so it's going to be, well, let's just say it's going to be a little different. Okay, so. All right, I'm um, I need to invite you to the party. And you can join private match. But they're not in here, are they? No. They're, they're not, not ready yet? Nope. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So yeah, welcome to everyone as we do everything live. Um, but anyways, um, welcome everyone. We got someone wearing shotgun for this. Um, this hey is a matchup in Tier 4, Division 12, out east. It's a 3v3 matchup. It's between Best Buds United Scorpion Squad and RTX Octane. Joining me in the boot tonight is Faint. Faint um, is currently on hiatus for this season. Yes, sir. Um, but is doing coaching for the org on the side. Yes, sir. And Faint is currently watching a screen that is not live on screen yet because this is the tail of the tape. <laughs> and I need to make sure that goes up on stream, too. So anyways, Scorpion. Scorpion come in this one, uh, 1 and 0, uh, with a sweep from 12. previous week. Um, if you heard us discussing the roster, the roster is normally Ike, Fox, and Tate. Tate is mm. unavailable to make it tonight. It's fine, that's why you have subs. So that's why Rogue's starting. On the Three other side... Three of my favorite people to... So sorry. <laughs> now you're good. There's three of my favorite people. Honestly, I play with them all the time. I know how good they are. Pretty so, good players. Yep. Um, on the other side, for RTX Octane, they are currently sitting at 0 and 1. Um, that's a weird stat line. Here is their lineup: M Baller, uh, Emmy Pyre, and Ty Sky Guy or Cookie. Why do they have a tier six and a tier five on that team? Don't know. Yikes! I mean, they just won't play together. Yeah. So as we kind of just dive into everything, assuming this is going to work tonight, which I, of course, it's not. Sometimes normally it, how it goes. Yeah, sometimes the stat pages work. Sometimes it doesn't. Like here, okay. Um. So here's here's the here's at least we'll do at least the stats for the scorpions. We don't get the individual stats because I don't know. Um, but uh, pretty uh, commanding performance last week. Obviously, they had a sweep. Uh, win, let in one goal, uh, scored twelve. Um, obviously, not working because I don't know. Um, I would go into the week one, but um, again, we kind of started that late. So don't have that much time. But on the other side, um, I mean, we saw, you know, Fate brought up the question of, like, why do they have a Tier 5 and Tier 6 players? And, you know, this looks like a team that's, you know, sort of struggling playing up. Like, mm -hmm. 
you know, I, I would say, like, it's fine. Um, I would, you know, for RTX Octane, I would encourage them to keep trying. You know, fish out the season. Like, don't show that you're quitters. Um, and just, and just you know, see what you can you can learn out of this. Mm-hmm. Um, so, theoretically, they're, they're going to have a rough go at it. Um, but, you know, as we say, can't take anything for granted. Like, Scorpions, you know, if they, I don't know, play like the Black Dragons and just assume that, you know, their opponents are just going to bury the ball in the back of their own net. Well, you know, they could be, you know, RTX Octane could be walking away with a win. Um, Yeah. (laughs) I mean, just looking at their shooting percentage, I mean, one main shooter, two, I guess, non-shooters. Well, I mean, Emmy's putting two shots a game, just not able to convert them. Yeah. And I mean, like, kind of kind of around this level of, like, you know, sometimes these are just, like, missed shots rather than passes that are counted as shots off the backboard or off, you know, the area around the net, you know, that mm-hmm. are actual legitimate, you know, back, back wall passes. So, um, you know, it's, it's, you know, kind of, kind of rough in a way, but also, like, again, like, I get it, you know, half the, well, well, over half the team, two of the three players are playing up, so, um, yeah. but again, like, for the Scorpions, they should not take this for granted, um, you know, they need to come out here, because, you know, any, anything can really happen, mm-hmm. so with that, Definitely so with that, I will end my screen share through Discord, and now I get to I know for sure. I know for sure I've taken a bunch of games for granted, man. And lost a quite a bit because of that. I am uh, messaging Tequila. Mm-hmm. The lobby info. So hopefully I won't need that anymore. So, um, before I start dispensing advice, um, just a reminder what's kind of happening. Uh, early tonight, Goon Squad lost in five. Pretty, pretty entertaining series. Um, but ultimately, UConn Blue came away with the, with the five-game victory um, in OT, of all things. Um, so, congratulations, UConn, UConn Blue. Um, good squad, good fight, but, you know, couple things to work on um and then uh happening later tonight basically in an hour and a half so pretty much right after this sort of uh dysfunctional will be in action um so yeah we kind of call this like i don't know the conflict of interest really um i coach the scorpions um and i guess just to show what's happening because my apparently my Discord overlay doesn't show up on the scoreboard. Overlay. <laughs> um, just to assuage fears to everyone. And Rogue joins. No. I mean, <sighs> whoa! What? I didn't click anything. I mean, guys, this is not. This is not fucking hard. This is not fucking hard. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm cursing on this stream, but this is the second time this week is this has happened. It's like it's not that hard to do this. No. Nah. Who did it? Who was the first to do it? Um it may have been last week. I don't know, but it's two times too much. Yeah, that's definitely. Like, it, I was thinking it was Yoink, but I'm pretty sure Yoink was pretty good about it. Um, mm-hmm. But whatever. Like again, guys, just don't join the match until the end. You shouldn't be joining anyways because you're the first coming in here. And mm-hmm. now we have to. I'm going to show everyone this. Now we have to go through this BS. Like. Like, this took me four tries to create. Five counting counting the Black Screen of Doom here. So, mm-hmm. like, this, this, this is not making it easier. 
And again, once again, like we had a hardware server, but now we're not going to get that. So I'm. Yikes. Well, did you uh, get into the match? Nope. Okay, I didn't need there. Nope. Not going to get no match until. Probably until the lobby tournament needs. Yeah. How you, how do you think they're gonna do with Rogue starting instead of uh, Tater? I don't know. Um, that's going to be interesting. Rogue is new to the squad. Mm -hmm. um, I'm messaging to or not Tate, messaging to Kila. Okay. Um. So yeah, let's do this. Um, you know, there's there's definitely some spaces that Rogue occupies that some of the team occupies. Um, and so it's just for Rogue getting getting used to the squad. Um, so yeah, um, it'll it'll be interesting to see to see exactly what happens. Mm-hmm. Give it a few seconds and I will let them know. Okay, ready. <sighs> so make sure that you are not in our LCS caster and click spectate every game. Huh? I said, make sure that you are not our LCS spectator or caster <laughs> and click spectate all games. There must be console. Because, yeah, I'm on a low on. So. Mm. They have to be console, right? Yes, they're Cynets. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Well, one's epic. One isn't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So, tier four matchup, Division 12. It's RTX Octane versus BBU Scorpions. Game underway, and Baller goes up for it. Whew. And I guess also, um, because I couldn't get this out of the way, because we're semi-scrambling. Um, this is Faint's first turn in the booth. So my super secret caster program, not really that much of a secret. We're just <laughs> trying to get Faint some experience and everything. So yes, sir. If, he, if he sounds awkward or whatever, well, again, it's his first time. So um, and my advice to Faint is, you know, a lot of this is just trying to figure out exactly how you fit in or what you fit in. And oh. and there's Tequila with the Nander whiff. I was going to say, they're, they're coming out with a good rotation, just that, that miss wasn't, wasn't the best. Yeah, I actually saw exactly what Tequila did, and that's he boosts at the ball. And he could have just, you know, took in his time. Oh. Nice dunk there from Mballer. And RTX Octane up two before the minute mark. Two quick goals. There's still plenty of Rocket League to play. It's only in game one, but... Just RTX is coming out strong. Yep. Capital capitalizing on these mistakes. Yes, sir. For those who turned into the Goon Squad versus uh, UConn Blue match earlier, um, mistakes were the small mistakes were ultimately the downfall of Goon Squad as they lost in five. And again, UConn was good enough to also capitalize on them. And you know, I talk about that a lot. You know, column A, column B. Um, oh, Rogue had no business going for that ball. No sir, double commit. <laughs> yep, like you can't. 
you can't you can't give your opponents too many openings um, because eventually they will they will score one off of the opening. Um, but if you keep you know if they're good enough, they'll score every single time. And so far, you know, RTX has pretty much done just that. So. Mm -hmm. But definitely those scorpions, good rotation so far. Just needing to keep the ball close to them, getting good passes out. But RTX is doing really good at defending and getting all these shots out. I, as soon as I say that. So what happened there? Let's see. I mean, baller cleared it. Good read by Tequila. And Fox. Smacking it home. So I'm going to put on my coach hat really quick. That's exactly what I want to see out of you, Fox. Is moving up like that. Take off the coach's hat. Yes, sir. So good shot by Fox to cut the deficit in half. Approaching the halfway mark here. RTX need to be a little careful on that. I understand momentum, but, you know, unless it was called out, that's a dangerous double commit. Mm-hmm. Good block by... I'm just going to call... You know, I was going to say Emmy, but I'm just going to call him Empire because that's easier on my mind. Yeah. <laughs> Baller taken Damn. out. Oh. That's a good effort by Cookie. Just kind of messed up the launch, but... You know, got to make them think that they're... You know, at the very least, you can go for it. RTX doing really good on keeping pressure, though. Really good. Yeah, I would but say, like you were... I was just going to say, to add to that, like, I would say in the dark, like, mm -hmm. again, just based on where IGL placed um, RTX, I would expect a lot more bunching up. Mm -hmm. um, similar to kind of like what happened there, but um, RTX has actually done a pretty good job of staying out of each other's way. Yeah. Like you said earlier, never underestimated team. They're coming out strong. Astute viewers will also notice I didn't make a prediction before the match based on week one. Paper yeah. technically favors the Scorpions, but mm, that was an opportunity. Rogue was probably out of boost, though. Oh. Tequila looking, can... like, looking like he learned how to shoot from me. Ike and Fox are keeping up pressure really good. Someone should have called someone off there. <laughs> yep. RTX just out of position. Yeah. I mean, the good way to not get punched by a double commit is put the ball in the back of the net. Ooh, Cookie exactly. had a chance. Like, all things considered, like, I love the fight that RTX is showing. Like, yeah. they're, they're I mean, actually playing really well. Like, you know. And I don't know if it's... Rogue with a stick I, shot. I, I say that, and Rogue just puts it far side. Just drives through that. Mm -hmm. Great shot. Puts him on top now. So, late goal there from Rogue. 15 seconds left. RTX looking to tie this up. Baller almost got the dunk. Rogue just hits that down. It's going to be very difficult to take this length. They cannot. And the Scorpions take a pretty close one here. Yeah, really good game. Saw them down 2-0 and just fix some mistakes and get their shots in. Yeah, that kind of that kind of leads me to believe kind of a you know like early game one jitters. Mm -hmm. um, 
I guess we'll. I guess. I guess we'll. We'll really see. Um, again, hats off. You know, hats off. You know, the stat sheet kind of shows RTX just getting thrashed last week. Um, but kind of, you know, kind of came out here. Um, kind of took it to the Scorpions. Took it to them early. Scorpions did bounce back, but. Oh, baller. Okay, so game two incoming. RTX looking to even up the series here after a close game one. I like the fake. Mm -hmm. I don't like that cut though. Oh, what a double. Yep. Just a great mechanical play. So, and also because the first one was up, like, the two kind of hanging back didn't really want to go up and commit. So, I really can't, I really can't play him to defense there. Um, but it's also, like, a really good individual effort there from Rogue. Scoring early. Putting the scorpions up. But, same thing I said in game one applies to game two. Still plenty of Rocket League to play. Not a good touch. Nice flick by Empire. Baller on the follow through. Oh. And buries in the back of the net. Good response from RTX Octane to tie the game up. Nice hit. Just a nice harassment, too, there by Empire. Mm-hmm. Great flick and just a great finish. So ball steered to the side. Takio trying to center it. Again, for those that also follow me, Ike slash Tequila, he's the only one I really, although I switch back and forth, he's really the only one I call that's like not his screen name because, you know, that's like sort of how I first know him, but I'll switch back between Ike and Tequila all the time. By the way, good goal from, from, from Tequila there. Kind of caught the RTX defense up a little too far. Bringing it down. And there's a double. Foxen's in on net. And. Yeah. Definitely looks like RTX wasn't calming there. Just all around. Yeah, with the team spread across cross platform, I could definitely say you could probably attest to it as well. Using Discord or whatever other app through the phone is just... You, you'll do what you can, but it's not ideal. <laughs> Definitely not. Definitely. But, Playing on the clangers when I was on PlayStation on the phone was the worst. I mean, that's what I did uh, Summer 19 with uh, Green Bucks and Sub. Mm-hmm. But, you know, this isn't to say it can't be done, because there are actually some, some, ooh, miscommunication again there from RTX. Scorpions opening up a big lead. 
That's probably why Jeff. you should never bring it across in front of your net. Yeah. We call that the Dilly Special. The what special? The Dilly Special. <laughs> It's funny, I think at like the higher levels you can sort of get away with that, even though everybody's faster, but just like sometimes down here, Diamond, even Champ 1, Champ 2, you are you don't get the best touch and you just throw it and just like serve it up into the big open mouth in the uh, back of your own wall. Yeah. Makes it really easy for the opponent to pound it in. Nice read from Rogue. I think what we're seeing now is just they're getting really comfy with each other and now they're just they're getting good passes, good shots, good clears. They're just putting it all together. Yeah. Putting I it think, on. I think also, again, in the context of this, this, this series right now, RTX is making a lot of mistakes. Again, I will... Forgive them to their to their teammates are you know playing up, so may not necessarily be used to the speed. Um, you know, so scorpions are scorpions are taking advantage of of the mistakes that RTX is creating. But they, you know, again, also scorpions are limiting their mistakes as well. Rogue looking for a double. I see we have a special guest in the chat, Mr. Potato. What's up, Tony? I know he's looking at this game proud. Sort of, and I mean, if if I notate like any other player, it's like, man, I wish I was playing. Yeah. Well, I guess unless it's me. Because I know when I when I should be the sub. <laughs> I wish I knew the same. Yeah. <laughs> so scorpions are going to take this one. This time, a uh, kind of very decisive result. And they are going to go to match point. Mm -hmm. So for RTX, I mean, obviously the obvious here, here's, you know, shocking, the John Madden insight. I mean, they just, they just need to do their best to like, just try and limit the mistakes. You know, if they get beat on speed, they get beat on speed. Um, like they played a really good game on, um, you know, and the series is not over yet, you know. We're looking, you know, they are looking at a reverse sweep, but, you know, it can't be done. Obviously, it just starts here. So, you know, they do have their work cut off for them, but uh, on the other hand, it could be done. So, let's see. Game three incoming. Scorpion's looking for the sweep. RTX looking to keep this series going. I believe if RTX... Quit, stops the double commits, get a little bit more comms going, they could definitely pull this pull this out. I mean, they have to start in game three, and I know they can do that. Again, just based on their game one performance. Yeah, like, exactly. Like, they actually looked really, really good. Like, alongside the Scorpions. Yeah, it looked like a really good match at the beginning. Then game two, a lot more problems, and now we see Rogue putting it in. Yeah, see that that there looks like a comms problem. That's actually like not a bad clear, you know, because sometimes you just have to do that. The problem is, is that another teammate committed and just couldn't get down quick enough. Mm-hmm. Nice save from Rogue.
I did see Baller coming out with a demo. I wonder if they're going to try to keep that up all game. Try to get a little bit more bumps and demos into their to their game and see what they can do. Yeah, I mean, if they can get it like on the rotation like that, kind of like how Baller did it, like that's that's really exactly like how you demo is you, you know, come out, you know, come through there as the one. Ooh, Rogue should have had that. Yeah, Rogue definitely should have had that. I think it was Fox with a great bump. Also, I believe that's a car switch for Baller from the Dominus to Fennec. Empire throws it down on net. Fox back Ooh. in time. I think Empire was also looking for the demo there again. Smart play. Look for that trail in person on your shot. Oh no, it looks like this game Fox is running the show. Put my coach coach hat on. I did tell Fox to, you know, even as a three, you can you can come up a little bit more because I thought I'm making deep rotations, like super deep rotations. Yeah, definitely. He took that advice and he's doing really good. I also believe that Rogue and Ike are doing pretty well as well. So on the uh, you know the inside the orc. Uh, knowledge. This is definitely one of the teams. Oh, there's a mess, and Cookie puts that away. Baller with the center to the corner. Oh. Cookie with the uh, 300 IQ accidental flip of doom that, but pre flips into the ball. It's always faking in 200 IQ on this on this channel. And Baller! Baller with the dunk! I 100% approve. I'm with it. Good play. So, the teaching moment, because, again, I can yell at the Scorpions for this. I understand doing that, but really you should kind of let that ball go. Because hitting the ball hard in front of the net can create problems. You know, and we oh, kind of like, we kind of like sort of chastise RTX when they did that. It's just like, you know, if you put it in front of your net, you want to put it on the wall and above the net so that the opponent really can't do anything. Counter attack from RTX, cut out by Rogue. Good shot, just put it right in his face. Baller unfortunately put that behind Empire, looking for the pass. So, minute warning. RTX up by one. Nice clear from Baller. Fox trying to set it to the corner. Tequila trying to keep it in. So, regardless of misses, I will say that... Nice save from Baller. I was going to say that RTX do actually a good job of killing Clock. Yes, they are. And countdown. Empire almost with the dunk. And well played from RTX Octane. They get the game three win. Keeping the series going. Yeah, it didn't look like they had it at the beginning, but they pulled out two really good shots. Just, just a little defensive breakdown
So I'm going to ask you, do you think the Scorpions panicked a little bit too quickly? Um, Definitely a couple of those shots probably shouldn't have went in. As, I'm a, as you said, that... I don't know who it was, but they should have never went... That ball was right in front of their net. That 50 was just not one to go for. Yeah, the, the pass in front of the net. Yeah, that was definitely not a good 50 to go yeah. for. Yeah, I I can understand, though, Fox going for it there because that's, like, in front of the net. It's just like, well, crap. So, yeah, it's I don't put I don't lay the blame there on Fox. I blame it, unfortunately, on Rogue. Baller. Clangers is filmed in front of a live studio audience. That's rough to see. <laughs> but Empire saved by Rogue. Nice save from Baller. What a... Good patience there from Fox to get that ball away. Alright, I'm back. I do apologize. It's alright. As you know, I'm coaching Crucify and supposed to have a little... We are supposed to have a little coaching session here in a little bit and they were just asking me about it. Okay. No, that's quite all right. I actually really like that Rogue backed off of that. He could have kept going, but I think as soon as he saw Fox and then now he just put in a great shot. Mm, that's a rough touch. Baller kind of started creeping up a little bit. So I go from Rogue, put Scorpions up, one nothing. Second chance at match at trying to close this out for the Scorpions as they lost game three. Definitely miscommunication there from RTX. Whew. Definitely miscommunications going on. And honestly, I don't think uh, Baller had a chance at that, honestly. No, nah, not with the near side rotation. Yeah. Like, if they didn't stop, I think they would have gotten the clear. But I think the stop and hesitation. Yeah. It's like, you know, that's 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 something as you learn as you go on. The generic advice I give is, you know, at this level, people really start blending their teammates. And honestly, it's it's really on, you know, in dime, it's like a lot of people have a lot of good mechanical skills, but they can't rotate. That's really what yeah. it comes down to. It's positioning, rotating, and stop going for the ball backwards. Yeah, exactly. And then get the mechanics down later. Yeah. But for sure. Well, because at some point, like, you just need to you just need to do that, especially when it when the speed picks up. Yeah. Um. You know, and when you're in when you're in position, you really, you really prevent the opponents from not doing things. You know, again, it's something people pick up with time. But yeah. Like, you know, you can kind of you can kind of see it when you know, like diamonds, plats. You know, to just kind of sit there and like, I don't know what to do with this ball. And they just kind of stop. It's just like, you know, it's almost like, you know, play where the ball is going to be, not where it is. Ooh, looks like another miscommunication out of the Scorpions, though. 
Luckily, they got it out their half, though. There's two up. Yes, sir. I might have fun with that one. <laughs> I, I know whose ball that was, but... Yeah. Alright, well, RTX, they know what they need to do. They need to get 2 and 45. And they definitely have the skill to do it. Yep. And we'll see if uh, we'll see if the scorpions. They don't necessarily have to turtle up. They just have to play smart defense. Yeah. Because really, at this point, the clock's their enemy and not their opponent. Yep. I think they're doing a really good job at just keeping it on their half at this point. Seems like the last what, like 30 seconds, they've been keeping it on their half, on the enemy half. Doing yep. really good at that. So it looks like the Scorpions are going to take this in four. GG's to RTX. Like, you know, again, we've been we've been saying, like, you know, they have two players playing up. It's really rough. But, I mean, like, all things considered, like, you know, tip of the cap to them. Um, you know, they, they, you know... They hung, they hung tight, um, you know, and the advice to give is just, you know, obviously one play together and two, just, just work on the, on the mental stuff. Um, you know, and the only way you can really do that is just in game. Um, you know, you can't really do that in free, free play, but like, you know, but as a team work on that and, you know, you guys you know, you guys will see a lot of improvement because there's a lot, there's a lot there. As for Scorpions, mm -hmm. well, efficient, obviously. Um, coach, Coach has probably got some things to look at. Um, but as I said in the other match, you know, a W is a W. They get it in four. Um, advancing to 2-0. and RTX, unfortunately, drops to 0-2. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, Think you got anything to add? Um, definitely when we first looked at everything on the paper, just looking at both teams, definitely looks like it looked like RTX wasn't going to be able to perform. They definitely came to perform, and they definitely had the skills to keep going throughout the season. It's just one, you know, one, they what, their second loss? Yeah. If they keep their comms and stuff up, they will manage to get the next four. I can almost guarantee that they are a good team. They did put up a really good fight against the BBU Scorpions. Okay. Yeah, I, I kind of agree with that. You know, just, just keep plugging away at it. Like, there's, there's you know, there's something there. You, you know, part of it's just, you know, putting in the time and everything. Again, Scorpions, you know, Again, a win's a win. Like, you know, we'll, I'll put my coach hat on. I'll, you know, tell them all the things that you're doing wrong. I mean, there's also, they've also made some good plays. So, you know, I will, I will highlight that. Um, but, you know, like still 2-0 is 2-0. Um, but, you know, can't, mm -hmm. can't, can't rest on the laurels. Um, so, yeah, that will go ahead and do it for this one. Um, well, We'll, we'll go say hi to our buddy again. Uh, in about less than an hour, uh, Dysfunctional will be in action. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and take the stream down. Um, but we'll go say hi to our buddy t uh, Tank again. Um, do a, yet another another raid on him. Um, <laughs> but uh, as for uh, both myself and for Faye, everyone, thank you for coming out tonight. We'll see you all in about an hour. Have a good one. We're going to go raid tank. <laughs> it's actually sitting in his stream last night and got to play some with him while he was waiting for another game. <laughs>